Have you been sending out UGC emails and getting no responses? This could be one of the reasons why. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to insert an email signature into your UGC emails. And this way we can add some links to your profiles and all of your social medias so that the brands easily have access to those. If you'd like to learn how to do this, then just stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, so you should be able to see my screen now. As you see, I have Canva pulled up and then I also do have my email pulled up. This is a new email because I did make it purely for UGC. So we're going to go to the little year over here. We're going to click see all settings. And then we are going to scroll down to signature. And I don't know if you already have one or not, but we're going to hit create new signature name. You can just put your name, right? You can always rename those. So we'll just hit create. And as you see here, we do have a blank screen. So there are two kind of options for email signatures. Um, but for the one I'm going to make today, I am going to put a link here directly to my portfolio. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on my portfolio. And I'm just going to copy the link. My portfolio is a website, which I think is pretty ideal for a, a UGC portfolio. So that way they can browse all your work. And I do have a video on this if you haven't made one yet, you can click on that and follow along. I'll try and link it somewhere here for you guys. So uh, I don't know if you've seen what I just did there, but you're gonna click the little chain link here that says link when you hover above it. Click that and then you're gonna put your web address in and then this is the text to display. So that's what your signature is going to show. So you could say like, click here to view portfolio or you could simply write portfolio here or just portfolio or you can write you know your website so then you hit okay and it looks like that so that way they could just directly click click it and go from there and then I do like to go just above that because um, that's where I'm going to insert a photo actually that I do make on Canva so now we're back to Canva I'm just going to go to create a design and I'm going to go to custom size and it's going to be 400 width, 200 height per pixels, pixels, not inches. <laughs> that is pretty important. So here, usually that is the size for like a business card, but for an email signature, you can put pretty much anything. So you can put a photo and then have a bunch of text, or you can just have a big signature um, text signatures. Here's a nice uh, business card looking one. You can do something fancy like that. You can really make it very simple. It kind of really depends on what vibe you're going for. So even you could search like, look that this one's fun. That is pretty fun. Let's connect. I actually even do have a website template with this design as well. How fun would that be? Oh my goodness. So you can go through and pick a template if you do like, otherwise you can kind of just make your own, which I think for today, I'm going to pick this one, the Olivia Wilson one, but I'm going to tweak it a bit, obviously, because I am a little bit different than this. So I'm going to do blue and blue here. You see how easy it is to change all this stuff around. Um, and then that one, maybe we'll keep it the light blue. And then this photo, these are always super easy to change. You just go to uploads and then find a photo that you like. So like maybe I'll do this one and then put that in there. And then you can also always go to the frames as well and change the color of those. So maybe I want it to be like the dark blue to match this. Maybe I do kind of want this just to be a white. Maybe I want this to be white as well. Maybe I could shrink it to do that. You can just play around with like a bunch of stuff. Um, and then obviously I would change my name. Ooh, that is not my name. Phoenix Ray. And then down here I would put UGC Creator. I'm definitely going to change the text of this. So Phoenix Ray, that's a little dark. Ooh, 
makes Ray a kind of like that. Do we like all caps? Maybe we could do all caps. Oops, I didn't want to move that. So you literally just play around with it. So I'm going to do that. This guy's going to come up here. He's going to be a nine point font. Phoenix Ray, 15, all caps. This guy kind of want to be Poppins at, at nine. And then I'm also going to copy and paste this because I do have a degree. And I do always think that if you do have a degree, you should put it in your, in your, um, oh my goodness. You should put it in your signature, your email signature, even if it's not related, which this definitely isn't, Bachelor of Environmental Science, but I did spend four years getting it and then I have worked in that field. So I do, I do take pride in that. Anywho, back to this. So we have our name, our UGC creator. This is very important to put down here. And then remember it's user generated content creator. So you don't need to put UGC content creator, just put UGC creator. And then I truly would, oh my goodness. I would truly never ever put my phone on this. Um, so I feel like if you had that connection with the brand that they could definitely just reach out to you. I do like the location um, purely because if it is a local organization, maybe you could do an event with them at their um, store. And then email, obviously I do always recommend putting your email in even though you do have your email. And then I'm actually going to delete that website because we do have our profile link. Ah, actually, you know what? No, we're not. No, we're gonna we're gonna leave it deleted. We're gonna leave it deleted. This is what goes through my head. We're gonna leave that there, and then we're gonna go um, at another one of these guys. Just copy and paste. This is gonna be for our socials. So Phoenix Ray UGC. So it's at Phoenix Ray UGC. And then honestly, for this, make sure it's all lined up. I'm going to go into elements and I think I've used like all of them. Yeah, like pretty recent. So I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to put them all down below. So their TikTok, their Instagram. So there's so many. Your YouTube, if you have one, which I do highly recommend making. And then I do have a Pinterest as well. So we're going to put all of those down here. Oh my God, I do have a Twitter as well. Jesus. So we're going to put all of those down here, all of your socials. So that way they know where to find you. Make sure they're all the same size. And you can do that purely by just like dragging and lining them up. And then I do like to see those are six. Let's make this six. Then they're all six apart. Does that make sense? Oh shit. And then we can move them. I do like to line them up with this side of the screen. And then I could put this guy in the middle. And then I am going to change colors. I'm going to change all these guys to like a dark teal. Just so that, I don't know, they kind of look fun. It's a lot more fun than, what is going on here? It's a lot more fun than just uh, your typical, you know, black. So this is what I have so far. It's kind of fun, kind of spunky. Um, this guy is a 15. I'm going to put him down to a 12. Oh my God, it's an 8. That just looks like aggressively large. I don't know why that keeps moving. Um, I'll put that guy there. Just like little things. I am such a perfectionist with stuff like this, so it takes me forever to actually settle on one. I've realized now that I just need to like create one, use it, and then as I'm already emailing brands, I just kind of tweak it as I go. You know, like I've already made one and I'm already tweaking it, so. <laughs> uh, there's this, and then I'm just gonna put like a little fun arrow down there just to be like hey look there so I just go to arrows and like this guy's fun there's like a curly dude mm. uh, I don't know which 
one. You could do with this guy. I would like obviously shrink it a lot and then you can turn it. Um, maybe. Shit. Maybe we'll move these guys. Why does that keep? There we go. I'm gonna move these guys over here, put this guy over here, and then you can always flip the image like that. Shrink him, drag him down. I don't know if I like that either. Hmm. Anyways, it's just a lot. You get to play around with a lot on Canva. Hmm. Maybe. I'm also just holding the shift key when I'm selecting all of these, in case you guys are wondering how I'm doing that. I'm just going to put a little arrow there and maybe I'll edit that arrow to be the lighter color. Should I put this in the lighter color too? What the fuck? So many choices. You can have so much fun with this, put as much color, personality, or whatever you want to this. But here we go with the main points of contact, which is email. Obviously, they already have your email because they're emailing you on it or you, you, you've you emailed them. Um, and then I put my place so they know I'm in BC in Canada. That is my social handle for all of these guys. And then, yeah, so I'm going to share this with myself. I'm going to download it as a PNG. I'm going to hit download. And you can do a transparent background too. And then I get rid of all of the color if you don't like the color. So that's another option as well. So I'm gonna go back into my email here. I'm gonna click insert image, and then I'm going to go to upload, select from files. This is my downloads, click it. And then bada bing, bada boom, it's right there. I wish I could blow this up, but I honestly don't know how to do that for you. Phoenix Ray. Bachelor of Environmental Science, and if you click that, actually, I might update this change. I might say, um, click, click here for my portfolio to view. Click here to view my portfolio. There you go. And there is your little email signature. So now we're going to do for new emails, the Phoenix one. And then important, save your changes. <laughs> so everything's saved. Now if we go to compose an email, I'll blow this up for you guys. You can see it's already plopped itself in here as an email signature, has all of your contact details. And then we can also click this link, open a new tab, bada bing, bada boom. There's my portfolio for you guys. I hope this quick tutorial helped you guys create a cool email signature uh, for your UGC email. And if you already haven't, I would definitely make a new email purely for UGC if you're looking to take it seriously in any sense, whether it's full time or part time. Uh, it's free to make a new email and I would highly recommend it. And I would also highly recommend adding an email signature. Like I said, make one in five minutes, add it, play around with it later. but. Have an email signature there with your portfolio linked before you start pitching brands, all of your content, right? Like I said, I do have a video on how to build a UGC portfolio website linked down below. And also hopefully I was able to link it in the video for you guys so that you could click it. Please let me know if this was helpful and if there is any other tutorials that you would like me to do or anything you'd like me to chat about, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And until then, I will see you next time.